Hey guys, you know here, and today we have something pretty huge. So as you can see, this couple stacks in front of me, this guy right here is our CGC submission. So I won't be showing that off uh, in this video, but yeah. So this is what I've been up to. I've just been picking up like a ton of raw cards, getting ready to send everything to PSA and CGC. So I'm not sure if you know, but PSA is doing a special for July only where it's $18 a card. So I've been stocking up all month. And yeah, let's just check the stuff out that I'm about to send. So we've got this Gogeta SPR, really cool card. We're gonna start out with some Dragon Ball Super. So I picked up a few of those. And yeah, so it was kind of weird trying to decide what I wanted to go to PSA and CGC. But um, yeah, I just split them up. I put what I thought would do well in PSA slabs in this one. And then the stuff that I want to get back quicker, I put in the CGC one. Because obviously CGC is way faster than PSA right now. But for the same price, pretty much, like it's only three bucks more for PSA. You know, I can get a lot more of a premium for some of this stuff in PSA slabs. So yeah. And now we got some Weiss. So just a Madoka SP. Thought this was pretty cool. It was kind of weird trying to find SPs to send at 18 because they do have a max limit of $200. Which, yeah, as you know, a lot of SPs are worth more than $200, at least the ones I want to grade. So, can't really send them here. And I already sent a decent amount of them at 30 So, yeah. For the white stuff, mainly just that SP is a lower value one. And then some triple R's. And then we got some SR's here. I just think this is a really cool card that someone would want slabbed up. And yeah, comes from the trial deck, so they're pretty easy to get, but once they're bought up, that's it. You know, there's going to be none left, and I'm sure you know why I like that one. So next up, we got Persona. This is the same thing, you know, uh, the protagonist. So same thing. It's from a trial deck, and these are extremely hard to get your hands on now, like the sealed trial decks. So yeah, once those cards are gone, they're gone. And another SR of Kuro Yukihime if that's how you say your name but yeah just some SRs I think will look pretty good in PSA slabs and I think there'll be like some decent profit if I go to sell them and the chainsaw man this is from anime expo uh, I don't even know about this one but it'll come back around the time that the set is coming out so maybe it'll be a good play who knows so we got more of these like parallel foil asunas so I just really like these cards I think people are sleeping on them for how cheap they are they do look really good, and they don't have the texture, but the foiling on it still looks really good. So yeah, one of each of those. Nothing too crazy, but I figure I'll try them out, see how they do. Next up, we got a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh! So, Dark Magician Girl here. I sent some of these at 30, I think, which is probably a huge mistake, but oh well. You know, it's already done. And yeah, we're gonna send a few more at 18, see how those do. I'm into these cards for almost nothing, so I'm not too worried about that. You know, 18, these cards have been doing a lot better than $18 in a 9, so I think even in 9s I should be fine. So yeah, we'll send those out. And then next up we got some Final Fantasy, so this is actually the huge majority of my PSA submission. Uh, first up we got the Titus Legend Foil, so that's a really cool card. We got some Yunas. And yeah, so Final Fantasy is mainly what I've been focusing on for this submission. It didn't really, like, I, that wasn't my original plan, but it kind of just worked out like that, where I got a huge stack of them. So yeah, some more Yunas. And this is pretty much all Opus 1. There's a little other stuff at the end, but yeah, for the most part, these guys are all Opus 1s. Which I think people are going to want slabbed up. We'll see in like 6 months when I get them back. But yeah, I think these would be pretty good. And we'll have to see what happens, I guess. So that Riku, I just wanted another one in like the correct label. So we're sending that. Three more Rikus here. And yeah, so I'm trying to get every single Riku in like every version of her in a PSA 10. So that's why I'm sending so many of these. Yeah, I'll keep whatever gets a 10 in my collection and then sell the rest. But yeah, I want to get the Wave ones, regular Opus ones, and then all of her foils. So... Not too big of a goal, I think that's pretty easily achievable. And yeah, we'll go for that. Got this Terra Foil, just thought it was a pretty cool looking card. So those are pretty cheap too actually, I think I picked up a bunch of them for like a couple bucks. 
This one's a more expensive version, but probably because it looks a lot cooler. This another one, just another terrafoil. Got two more wakas. So one of the wakas that I sold did really well. So figure I'll send a couple more, see what happens. Same with the Vaughn. It just did really well the first time I graded it, so we'll send another one. We got Pain. So she's from Final Fantasy X-2, which I like that game too. Not as much as X, but it's pretty cool. So this Riku I already have in a perfect X CGC. But if I get a PSA 10, which I should, I'll probably just sell the CGC one, not sure yet. I'd prefer to have all the same labels, and I'm going for all the Rikus in PSA 10, so. Got this Full Art Cloud promo, that is another one that did really well, just a popular card. We got a couple more Sephiroth Full Art Foils. So this is from like one of the boss decks, so it's not that rare of a card, but it just looks really cool, and I think people will want that. We got another Sephiroth Full Art. So, just kind of cool cards that I wanted to send out and see how they do. So, we'll see, I guess, in a few months. See if this was a huge mistake or if we do well. And then last up, we got the Wave 1 Cloud. So, I did just buy this for, in a CGC 9. And, uh, you know, my friend Retro told me this was a bag. So, we'll see. I want to put it in a PSA 9 case. See if it actually crosses over. Who knows? If it gets an 8, obviously we're doing really bad. If it gets the PSA 9, I think it'll be pretty good. So, yeah. That's what we're sending out. Nothing too, like, you know, crazy in here. But, like I said, the max value is only 200. So it's not like I could send anything too big in the submission. But, yeah. Either way, happy to send all these out. And, see you guys.